Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Hand injury caused by too much enthusiastic thumb clicking, hand waving and skin burns resulting from prolonged exposure to acid jazz. And the jazz hands can be treated in the ward. Now we've got people in the ward, we've got that, that that's absolutely fine. Right, call in a janitor for that one. Pest control, send them home. I don't have the money to deal with pest control at the moment. So they're going to have to just go home and, and not be dealt with. I've got two janitors on site. There's a queue outside. Janitor call to easy scan. Where are my janitors? Says I've got two. Hire. Staff. Janitors in here. Melanie Higginbotham and Jill Fiddle. She's bu oh, she's busy repairing something, and I've got someone that's doing plants as well. So I've got someone over here who's supposed to be coming over and mending that. Ah, oh, there's, there's one of my janitors, Jill Fiddle. And then I've also got watering of plants. Okay, we've got one more plant that needs to be watered. Where is the plants that need to be watered? You over here. Um, no, you're not. Oh, actually, if you are unblocking that, you could also come in here and you could deal with that one. If you just step across the hall straight into the bathroom, water the plant before don't you unblock the toilet. Please. You have to be difficult, don't you? You have to be difficult. Illness, floppy disk. So spinal discombobulation that leaves the sufferer with very limited memory. And that's another surgery patient. That is excellent. Doctors discovered a new illness, denim jeans. Skin has the appearance of denim, causing a great deal of irritation, mainly due to the time it takes to dry after a shower. Believed <laughs> to be caused by Bungle's genetically engineered genes, which have since been recalled. The patient is seeking treatment. will need a DNA lab. They can go home. Each I do not day, have the money. My first task is finding my slippers. They could be in any of 17 or 18 locations, and so this can take some time. Once they're found, I have some oats and homemade cottage cheese, and dry iron my clothes for the day ahead. <laughs> that sounds like an exciting start to the day. It really does. She's just heading over. She's going to water this plant. I told her she had... Oh no, he's, he's come over to... It takes both of them to do this. Yes! 50,001 rep. Okay, that was 10 plants that we watered doing that. That's absolutely fantastic. Now we just need... Right, we've got ward patients over there Clothed, in progress. fed, and ready to go. I'll listen to my show from the day before to focus my craft. I take extensive notes in a shorthand of my own devising before shredding them and filing the remains. I find it's important to have your own creative process. Okay. Janitor, please repair heart racer. Janitor, repair heart racer. Train a doctor. Reward 60 grand. Now that is going to be rather more difficult because I don't have any money to bring in training from outside. So what have we got? Psychiatry 2 for my psychiatrist, which would be really, really helpful. I know what we could do. Now... I want that doctor there. I would really, really like to have that doctor there. Loans at the moment, 68,000 still remaining on that one. So even if I take a loan out, I still, I'm not going to, like, it's pointless. That is an exercise in futility. So we need to go into here and we're going to have to go trainers available. We've got level two on here. I've got nurse and nurse. In there, I got a student doctor with treatment skill right there. I've got a senior consultant surgeon who could also take diagnosis. We've got nurse there. I need to train a doctor. It's, it's specifically a doctor. Now, I would like that doctor there trained in psychiatry level two. That's what I would like. I would want the I want that doctor in psychiatry level two. However, we're not going to be able to do that, are we? So I think what we will do, in order to just get our doctors at the moment to sort of spread out a little bit further and hopefully help just a few more people, 
I'm either going to have to give him... No, I don't want to give him GP. I don't want general practice for that, dude. So what we will do instead is she will be the trainee for psychiatry. Oh, wait, no. No, he, he's my only surgeon. I was thinking maybe I have a general purpose doc, a more general purpose doctor. Those are two specialist GPs. They're staying as specialist GPs. Which means that the only... And she's also a specialist research doctor, so she's staying as a specialist research doctor. Which means that I've got... Student doctor is unable to be trained. He's a treatment doctor. It's going to have to be you. You're the only one that's got a training slot available. So you're going to go in here. Trainees available is going to be you. Right there. And trainers available is going to need to be a doctor. It's not going to be that. I will train you as a GP, I think. Well, actually, no. I can train you as... I can give you treatment because that will assist with the psychiatry, won't it? I think that assists with the psychiatry. Kind of hoping it will. Courses available is treatment right there. It's going to take 23 days, but that's training a doctor. So 23 days, I have a doctor trained up. Ready to roll. Okay, we'll go fast speed on this one. Lord Foxbridge has contacted us. Yes, we know that. We've got that. Uh, we've got another promotion right there. That's going to be $60,000. And then I've got a whole load of patients over here. I've already got two patients here that have been trained. Uh, trained? Cured. Two patients right here that have been cured, which is absolutely fantastic. i got more people waiting to come in. It's the GPs. We still need the GPs. Three there. Now, because... And four. Needed in staff room. Right, that means that I've got enough there have gone past the target, so we'll be alright. Let's view the awards a second. We'll run through this one. Employer of the Year, what have we got? Rising Star Employer, Best Research and Best Teaching. Okay, we can, we can run with that. And Train the Doctor, that's about halfway through. We've got four out of the six. I failed one over there. There's one more to go. Wait. Lord Foxbridge has contacted us with details. Okay, i got two now, so I need to just launch a marketing campaign. I cannot launch a marketing campaign without a marketing room. I've got to have marketing to do that. That one is a 4x3. Where am I going to put a 4x3 room? Seriously? Where am I going to fit a 4x3 marketing room to launch a campaign? That's going to be tricky. I suppose I could try and put one in here somewhere. Like, could I fit a 4 by 3 Let me go in there a second and I go... Is it going to let me, like, just put a ghost print out? I go with that. Where's the marketing room? Ah, there. One, two. I could put the room there, like that. I could stuff it in there, like that. It's not going to fit, but yes, I do want to stop... I want to stop doing that right now. That, that travesty of a, an idea. I could move this room around a bit. This doesn't need to be this big. We can, we can shrink that down a bit. And I can shrink that room down as well. Right? We've, we've definitely got the ability to shrink some of these rooms down. And I can put a marketing room right in there. I don't have to sell anything. Let's... Have a look. You, you're you working on the easy scan at the moment. Let me edit this room a minute. So you're going to go to there. Then move that one and that one like that. That door. No, I just have to move this one over a little bit like that. And then I can put that door. Don't tell me I can't... Have Yes, I want to stop editing the room because it doesn't actually let me edit the room. So I move that one and then I move that one. That window, I will sell. That gets me $60. And then I can remove that one and that one like that. Take that and move that a bit further forward. 
and that is my edit complete. I don't actually need to do anything else on there. I can just do that. Right, that's edited and edit complete. So then that bench, I can move that one back to there so that I've got a decent bit of space. Over this side, I could do the same, actually, because this is another room that can be adjusted, as is this one. And then we can get rid of some of these windows. So go here like this, edit, I bring that up to there like that, and then I want to go here, remove that one and that one, and then I want to take that door, okay, I've got to cancel that, do I want to stop editing, yes I do, Brain anatomy poster, that needs to be moved over a little bit like that. And then let's try this again. We want to go to you. We want to edit this room. I want to bring that bin. Just All I'm going to do is bring the bin forward. And then we can get rid of that one and that one. And then I can click on that door. And that door can be moved up to there. And, and we go out around this side. That one... Needs to go, well, it can go there for a second. That one can move up there, like that. No, it can't. Oh, yes, it can. There. That's now been moved around. So then this one here, hand sanitizer. Put that one over to there so that it's moved out of the way, like that. Then we can come in over to this room here, and we want to move this. We'll edit this one around a little bit as well. So edit this room. I want to move that one forward and that one forward. I want to sell that window, and I want to sell that window. Then I want to get rid of one, two, and three, and then I want to take that, and I want to move it to there. That's not going to happen. Right, unfortunately, it doesn't let me buy it back. I've got to cancel the edit. Yes. And then we've got to start again. Edit. Right. So that one's got to just be moved forward uh, back that way a little tiny bit. And then you can go to there. And you can go to there. That one there can be sold. And that one can be sold. And that window can also be sold. And then... That one, that one, and that one can be gone. And that door can go to there. And then I can say job done like that. Then that bench can be moved back into there. That bench there can be moved back against the wall over there. Now I've got a huge amount of space out here, which we will be able to use for launching our marketing campaign. The doctor has almost finished the training. So that'll be partway through January. Announcement. Toilets need routine servicing. I'm hoping my janitors will be able to catch up. I did put them doing a whole load of the plants for a while. We've got 10 grand training a doctor. There's 60 grand has just come in. I'm now able to take out a loan right here. I got 64,000 left on that one. Take out another loan. It gives me 21,000. That means that I can go over to here. We can go to rooms. And I need a marketing room right here. One, two, four by three is my marketing room. I could bring that. That's a four by four out there. No, I want to do it like that. Um, uh, no, I don't. Yes, I want to start. I want to stop uh, room. Let's go, where's, 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 uh, th there's marketing. Okay, we want to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I'll do it that way. Although, that vending machine, that might end up being in the way of this. I may regret this decision. Because of the vending machine bit. Alright, let's put it that way. And get rid of that. So that I've got a little bit more space on the vending machine and we'll, we'll just... Crowd, we'll crowd it in over this side a little bit. I will put a door there on the front, like that. 
And then we've got a marketing table going to go in here. We want a marketer's desk to go in here as well. We'll put a filing cabinet in here somewhere, just because. There. I don't want to spend too much money on this particular room. We'll put a bin in here. And a recycling bin, because this is an office. Extinguisher. I won't worry about the hand sanitizer in here, but we will put a radiator in. And that'll do. We won't put anything more than that. So there's that one. Another thing that I want to do while I've got a little bit of cash is I do want to add a radiator or two into our hospital over here because it is freezing cold. So if I add just a couple there, put one there, one over that side and one down over here as well. That's going to warm up all of this side just a little bit. Make it a bit more comfortable for people. So we've got that bit done over there. Then I want to go into here. We want to go to staff. And I would like... No, I don't. I want to go to hire is the one that I'm looking for. Doctors, I no longer have a GP. I've got a treatment doctor available. And I've got two that don't have any training at all. So I'd like to get both of these. Short temper and terribly dull. Comes nasty and makes people bored. Cooper Cloud is funny, uh, makes people feel sick. Honestly, I think that's fine. Grumpy, hangry. I haven't got a lot of decent choices here, so I'm going to go one... There's a GP. Now, unfortunately, I've had to train my... Well, my psychiatrist has had basic... Um, I think my psychiatrist is doing all right. So I'm going to get two doctors. I will get a treatment doctor in as well. So we'll have you as well. So I've got some... Fairly basic doctoring that is able to happen. We will set another training course going in a minute, but I'm going to do it just yet. Nurses, I've got two janitors already. I need another assistant, so I will take someone who is able to do this. Um, just the worst. Teacher whiz, uh, whizzes through the syllabus. I'm going to hire you. You can drop into here like this. And... I'll deal with campaigns in a minute. Nurses, I could do with yet more nurses for various different treatments and so on. You can work in the pharmacy and you can work there. You could go through them. You've got double treatment skill and pharmacy management. You're actually a pretty good one. Matt Gray over here, although you're quite expensive. Sarah Syrup over here. I Actually, wait a minute. Before we do that, we also want to get the marketing challenge. Uh... Click to launch a marketing campaign. Seriously? Launch a marketing campaign, 10 grand. Great. Recruitment. Ooh, recruitment marketing. Launch a marketing campaign. You're at 7,000. That's any uh, general marketing, recruitment marketing. It doesn't say which, does it? Nurse, janitor, assistant, surgeon. Researcher. Marketing campaign. Oh, wait, what? Mechanics can launch a marketing campaign. It says... I bet it's got to be that one. We should be able to impress fellow marketeers with our nuanced use of advertising marketing techniques. Rent an advertising blimp. That should get them on board. That is specifically marketing campaign, isn't it? I'm wondering if that's the one they mean. Just to be tricky. Tricky and tricksy. So I've got $8,400. The only way I'm going to get any money is if I sell something from the hospital. I need to sell several thousand dollars worth of something from the hospital in order to be able to make this work. That's going to be tricky. What do we sell? What do we got that we can... I know I'm looking at that research room as well as you are, and I'm thinking, yeah, that could... That $300, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the research room over here. I'm also looking at these. These medicine cabinets, $1,000 a piece. I need, I need eight grand. How much have I got tied up in you? 8000 No brainer, really, isn't it? All right. That one's got to go. That one's got to go so that we can afford this one in here. We come down to there. Marketing campaign. Launch campaign. Done. We have achieved our targets. Lord Foxbridge will provide us an extra funding. $75,000. Don't know if I should get that back. 
Hmm. Should I get that one back or not? That's eight grand. That eight grand is actually pretty useful. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to my loans over here and I'm going to pay back that big loan because that's costing me f almost five grand a month. Pay that back. That leaves me with 10,000. I can always take it out again if I need to. And hopefully Lord Foxbridge will provide me with some more cash in a minute. So I've got the marketing office over here. We've moved everything around. We've redesigned the hospital in order to be able to make that work. I'd say that's a step in the right direction. Ooh, got another target. Un Unblock eight toilets. 50 grand. How am I supposed to unblock eight toilets if they're not being blocked? Call janitor to unblock. Ah, just... Call them in. Just call them in like this. Yep, there we go. Just call them in. Assume the toilets are blocked and they need instant attention. i got to do eight of them. I've got four in there. Lord Foxbridge has contacted us. Yes, we know that. Get a level four surgery. Oh, wait. Details of our latest. Get a level four surgery. Our current is level three. I've got 10 grand at the moment. I need to turn you into a level four surgery. We want to go edit like this. What are we going to do to upgrade this a bit? I could put in some more wall monitors maybe. Can I squeeze these wall monitors up a little? I don't think I can. I don't think I was able to do that. Let me try. I'm going to put you along here. I'm going to put you... No, that... Simply... I don't believe that was an option. No, that, was, that wasn't an option. I wasn't able to do that. But maybe I could do something else. Right, well, that, that's, that's not going to happen. That's just not going to happen in there. Another medicine cabinet, perhaps. I can fit one of those in. I can put one right there. There's a thousand. That's not much prestige, though. It's rather expensive for the prestige that I'm getting from it. I've got a toxic bin in here, and I've got various other bits. We've got the radiator in here somewhere. There's the radiator over there. Uh... We'll go with a brain anatomy poster. Just, you know, it's, it, I feel it's always a good idea so that the surgeon can see what they're doing. Uh, Light-headed poster. Let's, let's put some decoration on the walls, shall we? We'll, that's, that's what we'll do. Excuse me. Jasmine Odyssey. We want Jasmine on the wall over there. We will go for the gold record as well. Can I fit that one in anywhere? I want to be able to put a gold record on the wall. We can definitely put... Two gold records on the wall over here. That's getting the prestige coming up a little bit. Now, what about along here? I can put them along this side as well. We could put a great... I can't put a canvas there. I can put a Jasmine Odyssey photo. I will do two of those. And there we have level four. Boom, like that. And that's 75,000. Job done. Excellent. So we've now got 82 grand, which means that I can go back over to my research room. Edit... And get my research monitors back. I missed my research monitors. I needed them in there. Right, done. We've got you out there with your new bits and pieces in there. I've got four toilets being unblocked right here. Special report. Four out of six patients have been cured, which means that we get $10,000 going into there. That is $44,000 that we have right now. So I've got plot two is 40 grand. Uh, plot eight over there is 40 grand. I'm thinking that one is slightly bigger, so we will buy that one there while we've got the money for it. And that way we can expand. Domesticated. Try litigating. The Bureaucats are back with more wacky administrative mishaps than ever. The Bureaucats! No amount of paperwork is going to stop these cats from landing on their feet. Watch Bureaucats every day on Bungle Kids. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
Okay. The kids station sounds actually pretty good, I must say. Uh, staff promotion over here. We have got a janitor who is able to be promoted. So we will promote him. We have research complete on the colorizer. And you want a level four pharmacy. Rewards $75,000. So I've got... We've got a couple of machines that we're going to want to build uh, soon. But we don't have the ability to do it just yet. With all of this extra money coming in, I'm now going to be able to get me some decent GPs. Pretends to have read that book so often that they uh, now think that they might have. And he also makes people feel sick. But he's, you know, I'm, I'm going to hire him anyway. I'm just going to take that dude right there. Uh, we're on blocking toilets. I was waiting before I trained any new doctors. But I'm thinking that's probably going to be a mistake. Why have I only got two grand? Oh. Where did my money just go? Oh, no, I went and bought that, didn't I? Yes. And we've got that. I could do... And I've also just gone through the end of the month. Um, get a level four pharmacy. And i got to do that with two grand. Right. Well, we've got toilets ready to be unblocked. We've unblocked three toilets. That one there. We're unblocking that one right there. Attention. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Urinating will not be tolerated. Okay, I've got four toilets so far that have been unblocked. Pick up. Sell. I can call you in. Call you in. Toilet cubicle, that one's being used. So I've, I've got two janitors are able to come into there. What about you? You are now able to be unblocked as well. And that one is not yet. New illness, pipe organs. The internal organs are arranged in such a way that create dramatic music when the sufferer walks. Requires surgery to <laughs> rearrange the organs. Has anybody ever encountered that? Anybody that actually works in a surgery, a, a, you know, a, a surgery, a hospital, anything like that, any kind of medical profession, have you ever encountered someone that pipes music when they walk? Um, I know that some people might pipe out like a, a brass band, but that's that's a little bit different. Um, do, do, is, does anybody ever pipe music while they walk? Is, is this ever actually a thing? I'm guessing probably not. Actually, I, I, I know full well that it wouldn't be, but um, yes. How do I go from prestige level 2 all the way up to prestige level 4? Now, first up, we have got a radiator in here. That's, that's at least a good start. I'm going to put that one back against the wall over there like that. We're going to go with a recycling bin in this room. Going to do our green bit in here. We've got a regular bin over here. That one can move over into the corner. We will put a fire extinguisher in here as well. We will put some hand sanitizer in this room. That will go right there. And then we've got a plant in here. So really it's down to the whole poster shenanigans. So we're going to go through and we're going to put in a lot of posters. We've got the eye test. Eye test thingy, sausage, kebab. Um, lot hole here. I don't know what else that says. Eye test thingy, something. Eye test thingy, kebab, carp, lot hole here's... Uh, I'm looking in really close. I still can't. I can't see what the bottom line says. I hope that I, I really actually hope that the bottom line says something because that would be very cool. Right. We're up to level three. Let's get some more posters on the wall. That's $500. This has cost me so far. That one can go there and then we'll spin around this way and we will. Put... Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later